Hello everybody and welcome back to another project for the February kit for Antivira Scrap and Craft. Today I am using the beautiful Cartabella papers in the February kit. Um, this is called Hello Sweetheart and really it is such a joy to work with. Let me show you what I've done. I have made, well, I don't know what I've made really, but um, this is something that is an off-the-page project. It's something that's supposed to stand either on your bedside table or on your mantelpiece or on your coffee table. And this is basically all the people who I love in my life. So I'll just start off here. Um, I'll bring you in a little bit closer. This is one of the cut-aparts here and it's a bunch of flowers and underneath here the banner says happy valentine's day but i don't want it to only be specific to valentine's day um, I, I changed i used some of the tim holt stickers and i put this is what family looks like across here i took a photo of um, myself and my husband and i put this sticker from tim holds that says happiness depends on ourselves and then over here I've got a picture of, again, me and my husband, collect beautiful moments. And I've got them on little pegs that I bought from Kmart. Just these little craft pegs. And on this side as well, um, me and you. And I actually should put a sticker here like, just to, like I did that. I will do that and I'll, put, I'll show you the photos in the blog. In the back here, I have extra photos, and so what I was hoping that we could do, or I will do, is you can swap these out. So you can take these out so nothing is stuck down. That's why the pegs are kind of like essential. So you could take this out so it's no longer just about my husband and I. It's now going to be about my kids or um, the other people in my family who I love. So we'll put the pegs back here, like that. So it's now a photo of my dad with my boys. And we'll take this one off here, and we'll put it up here. And we'll put that one here. And then we'll put pictures of the husband and the wife in the back. And you are supposed to use the pegs for the front and the paper clips for the back but you can do whatever you like really. This piece is now a picture of family and really these terms still apply. This is what family looks like and um, I love my family so me and you. I think that this is the most beautiful show of love you can express for your family. Now when you talk about the frame, the frame is basically a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that I've cut in half and then I've scored it and then just stuck together here. The peak of the window here is some of these Sizzix Thinlets and I've just placed them here so you can have like a little peekaboo and have a look at what's behind or you can just look through right there. So if you want to know how I made this, stick around because I have a tutorial for you right after this. And I'll just flip over the back here. This is how I finished the project. It's beautiful. The papers, once again, the papers are the star. So I wanted to just use papers for this project. And you could go nuts here. You can add even more photos that are stuck forever. Um, and then these will be the interchangeables. So I hope you like my project. And uh, yeah, here comes the tutorial. So I start off with a piece of 12 by 12 black cardstock. And you need to have one trimmed down to 10 inches. So there's the two pieces there. And then flip it over to the 12 inch side. And I want you to score at uh, three and then six and then nine. So every three inches. So you've got four sections that are three inches. And then you're going to flip it over to the 10 inch side and you're going to cut it in half so that each of those sections are now um, five by 12. I want you next to burnish along the score lines and then create um, valleys and mountains so it looks kind of like this 
Do the same with the other side, but burnish it so that it's opposite. So this is the first one will be a W, the next one will be an M. And you should be able to attach them on the left and the right like that. But before we do that, um, go ahead and grab the first frame. I'm going to use this Sizzix Thinlets die. It's got four plates and I tried to decide, I didn't like the bubbles. I, I thought that the lattice one was a little bit too large and I it was going to be between the diamond and the hexagons and the hexagons one in the end. It just fit right and I love hexagons so it was going to be that one. I then decided to put it through my big shot and it's just going to go in at the top left and the bottom right of the two middle panels. So this takes a few turns through the big shot and it's going to start raining hexagons very soon. <laughs> After I cleaned up my mess, I'm now just having a look. I want to choose a pattern paper that fits through that peekaboo hexagon frame that I created. I loved that first one that I chose, which was the ombre pink hearts, and I decided against it because I felt like perhaps maybe I was wasting the paper, and in fact I really shouldn't think like that because later on when I choose this pink and black polka dot and I progress in my project, I don't like the shade of pink. It doesn't match the shade of pink that I use in the roses. And I do go back and I choose the first pattern paper that I originally wanted to use, which was the ombre uh, pink hearts. And so this, I learned a lesson here in, in that it's okay to use the papers that you like. You're not going to waste them if you're going to use them on a project that you see every day. I love this vertical black and white a paper here on the left and right panels. I've chosen some journaling cards which I'm going to attach with paper clips just so that they can be interchangeable and you can take them off whenever you feel like it. This is one of my favorite papers from the paper collection. I am going to spend some time here and I'm going to fussy cut around the papers because I want to attach them to the front of the hexagon frame. You see here that I've gone ahead and put that ombre heart pattern paper in the background and I'm just reattaching the front to the back and burnishing it down. All right, so next is trying to get these flowers that I fussy cut out um, into formation and I spend some time here playing around. I use a combination of double-sided tape and PVA. And in the end, I decide that less is more, even though I did want to put a whole lot of flowers there, I decided not to. Okay, so going ahead now and attaching those journaling cards with paper clips, I went ahead and I printed out some photos of my family just cutting them apart now and I'm going to start telling a little bit of a story so I'm thinking this is Valentine's Day these are the people that I love I grabbed this mini craft pegs from Kmart and I thought it would look really cute to attach the photos with those pegs to the front and then after a while I thought it Hold a better story if I kept the photos of myself and my husband to the front and then put the photos of the rest of my family to the back so that one day I could display the photos of just our marriage and then another day I can display a photo of my extended family, uh, my parents and my children. I now grab this Tim Holt sticker book. The Journaling card says Happy Valentine's Day on the banner. I wanted this to be more than just a Valentine's Day display, so I changed it to say this is what family looks like. I really like the idea of personalizing the journaling cards and the photos, so I go ahead and do the same thing with the black and white photo, and I choose a quote that says, happiness depends on ourselves, and I do believe that um, 
that you know our marriage our the happiness of our marriage depends on how much work we put into it so I really love that quote the other photo um, of myself and my husband is uh, one where we went out for dinner one time for work and so I love the quote that says collect beautiful moments and the heart comes from the crepe paper sticker pack that came in the February kit. The next photo is the one of uh, me and my boys and I love this I love this quote that says a dream is a wish your heart makes because I did dream of having children and um, yeah I have my boys. This other photo is a photo of my dad with my boys and it says together is the best place to be. Very cute. And then this last picture here, I decided to put, I love us. That's the inside and the pictures done. I decided to go ahead and cut some panels, which are three by five, just to display the beautiful papers in this collection. And I decided to change that last pink one to, to be a floral one. So it's alternating red and pink hearts and floral. gorgeous just love that and then I'm just reattaching the photos I've decided to put the little craft pegs to the front and then the paper clips to the back and then I decide to change the paper clips that were holding the journaling cards to just bulldog clips that are a pretty pattern and that is my project I really love how this came together I love how it's going to be displayed in our theater for everyone to see when they come to visit. I love how it's a celebration of myself and my husband, myself and my children, myself and my parents, my parents and my children. I think it's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'm going to put up some photos to finish off the video and I'm going to put, leave the link to the blog post below. Check it out for some details and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.